Resuming shortly, MOG Red. Streaming Amnesia The Bunker, Amnesia The Bunker Part 4. Hello, hello, hello. Sorry for that. <laughs> Had to address some things. But we are back for action. I'm still in the situation where I have way too many firebombs and not enough actual fire. I want a lighter. That's my ambition right now is to find one. Oh, wait! I just remembered. Um, I have... I have a new code. Let's lock that. I'm going to go back to the officer quarters. I think they're over here somewhere, right? Nah, the same did. I don't know why I keep coming back here. There's nothing ever here. Let's close this. Should be around the corner. The mess hall should be... Do, do, I think around here. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm really sorry for my sinuses. <laughs> Let's see here. Notes, photos, codes, Gerard8949. Gerard, Gerard, Gerard. There you are. Eight, nine, four, nine. And what do I get? What do I get? What's this? A lighter! We have a lighter, ladies and gentlemen. We are so back. That was the best code yet. Okay, I'm very pleased with the outcome of that. Now, I guess I left that locked. That's fine. I think this door is open. <sighs> okay, I'm quite pleased with that. Now I can use my firebombs. I'll pop that away. I'll take a firebomb with me. Gosh, I'm really low on storage, huh? I'm going to take a couple firebombs with me. They're going to be my new friends going forward. And we save. <clears throat> Unless I want to use a grenade to blow up one of those doors, I don't know if a firebomb will do it, uh, destroy it for me. Okay, you know what? I did save. I'm going to experiment with something. Let's put this away. Take a grenade. There is a room I haven't seen inside, and I want to find out if it's any uh, thing of value in there. Hmm. Now that's still mission storage. 
soldier quarters, communications. That's right, I need to get to communications for a broadcasted code. May as well have a quick look around here, huh? Here's a door, a wooden one that's locked, but I can probably blow it up. A whole lot of goodies, a flare, a grenade. And I came here with a lot of inventory. Well, heck, let's give it a try. Does it blow up the door? It does indeed. Time to hide. Is there anywhere to do that? Nope. Nope, put that away, put that away. Ah! <laughs> I mean, obviously that was going to happen, okay? <laughs> but I had to experiment. I wanted to see. And I could blow that door up and get in there. There's a lot of good things in there if I can. Um, so now that I've established I can blow up that door, the question remains, should I? There certainly isn't a point to me picking up more things right now. I've got plenty of things. Too many, in fact. Too many things, and there's not enough space in the storage box to put much more. Unless I combine this with that cloth. Now I have another Molotov and an extra inventory space. I suppose I can put one away and take a grenade with me. Okay, you know what? I'm going to finish up in maintenance. I know what's waiting for me now. In the communications room. Uh, that, this area over here, soldier quarters. That's where they want me to go. And that's where I will go shortly. <laughs> I just want to see where should I sign you? I'll assign you here. There we go. There's my lighter. Okay, cool. We're ready for action. Soldier's quarters. Should I go to soldier's quarters? I don't know. Soldiers' quarters communications is done that way. I'm going to keep looking in maintenance, see if I find anything else that's worthwhile. Where was maintenance? Oh, it's over here. I'm slowly getting used to this map. <laughs> Which is, you know, inevitable because you have to backtrack a lot, seeing as the safe spot is all the way back at the generator room. But at least the rats are no longer an issue in that side. <clears throat> that switch is pulled down. Okay, let's see how far I can traverse here before I get destroyed. I suppose I can torch this guy now, huh? Does it destroy this corpse? Uh, 
Oh, brother. Where's my cabinet? Oh, man. Okay, I was around here, man. So I'm not 100% sure if that attack has any effect on him at that point. Just bear with me a second. Sorry, just have to do some quick admin here for a segment, and I'll be right back. Okay, thank you kindly. So, I got uh, kicked in the teeth when I went to, when I went back to maintenance. It's my own fault really because I made noise. <clears throat> so, maybe if I just don't do that this time, I'll be okay. Let's try that again. Let's go back to maintenance. I'm beginning so to feel like I'm uh... AM, my spooky hour. Hey, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, yeah, 3 a.m. That is perfect time for spooky stuffs. I had to uh, abruptly uh, jump out <laughs> and jump back in now. So hopefully this session will be uninterrupted for a bit. And uh, Dolphin, I don't know if you know this, but I found a lighter, <laughs> which means I can throw Molotov cocktails now. And that's pretty awesome. The problem is they're noisy, <laughs> as is everything I do. And I have a very sensitive neighbor okay. here. <laughs> yes, indeed. Check it out. Um, I think it's this one, huh? Let's see. Or is it this? Oh, maybe I didn't set the binding. Doesn't matter. I can just pull it out. Check this out. How cool is that? <laughs> A small price to pay for explosives. Indeed. Now, this place is hella dangerous. Uh, every time I take a few steps here, I get destroyed. But 
I went to the foreman's quarters, pillbox fuel storage workshop. I want to go to the workshop. Oh, this is a big problem, hey? Can I jump over that? Uh oh. And here I am again in a bad situation with nowhere to hide. <laughs> and this is how I keep dying. <laughs> Pull that switch down. Oh, that's a gas trap. So maybe it's not so noisy. Yeah, it looks like it's noisy enough. <laughs> you heard it. Please give me a place to hide. This will do. This will do. Fine, I'll take a flare. Just a moment. Hello. Hello. Inquiries. Apologies for that. <laughs> I'm uh, expecting a delivery, so I'm just waiting for that to come through. Oh, this guy's still wandering around. All that time I walked away and nothing happened, huh? Dare I explore this way? Was this a foolish error? Very, very likely. What's in here? Rats. Another bottle for me to throw. Got him. Is he coming to investigate that? Very probably I should close this door maybe. Maybe wedge this in front of the door to slow his entrance if he tries. Fuel. Always welcome. Another dog tag. Without a code. Another dog tag? Take it. Con Connard without a code. More rats. Have I got any more uh, throwable items? I got a flare. Hmm. I may have to consider going back. <clears throat> or how many bullets do I have? Wait, what was I the have code on the last dog tag? Oh gosh, uh, there wasn't one. I've got three bullets. I could probably throw... Uh, yeah, no, nah, I haven't got any new codes. Let's see. Nah, all four codes I've gotten I've used already. These rats are annoying me. But I can probably get rid of them with this fuel bottle. Wait. Combine with that. Whip this out. Let's toss it at these fellas. 
And... No, I mean the one before. Fuck. Damn. Well, that was a waste of ammo. Eight, nine, something. Oh, I forget. <laughs> I'll, I'll look at it again just now. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> click, click, click. I was on to something there. I was on to something. Um, but I think I need more Molotovs. So I'll check now what that code was. I barely remember, to be honest. Um, I actually got lucky with... Uh, Ooh, I've got a new voicemail. <laughs> Why is this all happening right now? <laughs> okay. Give me two seconds to see what this is. The best laid plans, huh? Okay. Let's continue. Let me see. What was the last code I got? 8949, yeah. That was the last code I found. Let me check my inventory. I've got two flame bombs. I'm not going to use this half, I think. I'm going to put it away. Gonna put it away. And we're gonna take another of these. Yeah. That's my arsenal. Let's rock. Back to maintenance. Maintenance is this one. I remember something. MOG partying face. <laughs> yeah, no, you did quite well. <laughs> I'm so sorry for all the interruptions. Uh, there's a, an order I've been waiting for for a few days. And all of a sudden, they're making content, so I need to stay sharp. So if I back away uh, for a moment, please uh, bear with me while I, I sort that out. But now, back to getting through my rat problem with pyrotechnics. So for the most part, I was all right just walking past all of this. I just needed to jump over this. Whoops, there we go. No problem. That door is locked. Over here is a blockade. I pulled the switch down so when I turn the generator on, there'll be light here. Here, here's the pantry. I don't think I ever went in here. Oh no. Well, <laughs> there's only one thing for it. I hope that didn't make too much noise. I want, I want to find somewhere to hide if, if it did. Close. There's a big block of cheese. No wonder they were in here, huh? Oh man, is he coming again? He's always on my case, huh? Give me some time to think about things, okay? Let's pull the switch down. Anything useful here? I have found a couple things. What's this? Probably meat, huh? Meat, meat. A 
That's a bandage. I can't pick that up because I've got no space for it. <laughs> no, that's not going to help much, but it's something. It sounds like my man is very close. I hear my heart beating. Okay. I can't seem to pull that box out. Oh, he's coming close. I just hide, hide in the corner, hope for the best. Sounds like he is, but I can't just sit you forever, can I? I don't think I'm going to make it to the workshop just yet. I wonder if I can at least get back to base and drop off some of the stuff I picked up. This tripwire should still be here, huh? Oh, no, it was blown up. No, no, there it is. That wasn't enough to trigger him. I'm genuinely growing concerned with how quickly my inventory box is filling up. Should I run for it? What do you think? Not good. It's risky. <laughs> I may make it without having to. Let's go for it. And slam dunk. Another run. Successfully completed. Why can't I lock it? Doesn't matter. We have another meat. Oh, I suppose I could use the meat to distract those rodents later on, huh? Oh, wait, no, I already dealt with them. Oh, no, th there are more coming up, though. <laughs> <sighs> My mind's all over the place. I'm going to put one away. I think one meat should be more than enough for what I need to do. If I can lure all the rats to one spot, I can burn them all in that spot, which is actually a pretty interesting idea. I'm the explorer. Let's go to maintenance. Torch some more rats. More rats I'm committed for the pot. to getting Yes, <laughs> more rats for the pot. I just want to get more. Um more codes 
so I can get more stuff from the uh, the lockers. We. But this place is so dangerous. He just shows up all the time here. What is down here? Okay. Whoa. Did I see some eyes? Rats! <laughs> oh no, he's coming. Okay, let's quickly sort this out. I'll hide behind this. I would like to get into that cupboard, but I don't know if I can make it before the fire dies. Oh, I mean after the fire dies. He's totally coming, isn't he? Oh, he's coming. That's my chance if I want to try to get... Okay, I'll worry about that later. First, open. Uh, I can't even hide in this cupboard, but there's a dog tag with a code! We are so back, baby. Hide, 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 hide. Let's hope that this is enough to keep us hidden. How's my inventory looking? Okay. Pretty good. We got more fuel. We got another bandage. I still have another Molotov cocktail. I got some meat, if anyone's interested. Maybe I'll reload my gun. Load a bullet. Okay. Does that hide me enough? <laughs> Is he still lurking? We should probably make our way back, right? Since we have a new code. I think we should. So I'm just going to be nice and patient and wait for the next thing to happen. Sounds like he's getting close. He sounds real close. And I've got nowhere else to hide. I'm just in this corner. <laughs> Barrels protect me. Okay, maybe I'm safe. What what is this rat covering? Doesn't it look like uh, it's just its face? And what is waiting here for me when I get back? Oh, I can totally take that ammo. What I can't take with me right now is a flare. Oh, I better get back in the cover. Back in the cover. Back in the cover. Back in the cover. He's coming. Oh lord, he's coming. Whew. He really just never leaves, huh? Put another bullet in. If he sees me, he's getting a bullet in the face. And hopefully that'll buy me enough time to get back to home base and save. I think I'm okay with sparing a bullet for now. I would Bro rather just not. Wants a hug. Yeah, well, he's had plenty, okay? <laughs> I feel that this isn't a two-sided relationship between me and this thing. <laughs> I give it all the affection, and it treats me rather poorly, and yet I keep coming back. 
it's a toxic relationship really <laughs> when I tell all my girlfriends how I hide behind the barrels they're like you should leave him and I'm like you don't understand <gasps> what just happened did you hear that chemical weapon expert did he just get hit by a trap righteous <laughs> I don't know how but awesome classic one-sided love Classic one-sided love. That's a good name for this chapter. Does it mean I'm safe to go back now? I sure hope so. That would be real neat. Yeah, I think he triggered the trap here. <gasps> no, he didn't. It's still here. What happened here? I didn't even want to know. He did something. Oh, I think he, I think he smashed one of those containers, huh? Well, I'm going back the heck to base. That's for damn sure. Maybe another trap. Yeah, you know what I think it was? There were containers. I think he smashed one of them. And uh, they were explosive. And he he cooked himself. <laughs> that was funny. Nature finds a way sometimes, huh? Hell yeah, we did it. Now, here's my issue. I've got no space for anything anymore. <laughs> I will save, though. I don't know where... Can I just drop things? And will they still be here if I do that? I'm going to try... Dropping a meat and a bandage, maybe? I'm just scared to uh, permanently lose something useful. Let's try it. Are they still here? Yeah, they're still there. Should be fine, right? Well, I saved. I'm not going to save again just yet. I'm going to see if they're still there when I come back. So, I found a new code. I'm going to go use that code. Come on. <laughs> Be better. <laughs> Let's see the code I got. 7692A14. A14. Hey, there you are. 7692. It's just that easy. More fuel and more cloth. Okay, that wasn't the most exciting haul I've gotten from this, but it's it's good. It's progress, right? At least it has something. Indeed. Is my junk still on the floor? It is. <laughs> Look at me walking around with fuel, uh, two fuel tanks, one in each hand. Uh, drop. Wait. How do I drop? Oh, yes. Drop, drop. Couple of fuel tanks. I have way too much junk, huh? way too much I don't know what to do with most of it <clears throat> you can only run around like you have to have space to pick things up that's the problem you know oh I'm definitely dropping that cloth why am I doing walking around with it yeah drop that okay I'm gonna save here and hope that it's all here when I come back <laughs> Here goes nothing. Maintenance. Oh, we're almost done with maintenance. Because I went to go to where the uh, communications uh, code is being broadcast. Oh, 
Hopefully he leaves this place alone for a while now that he got uh, blown up in it. Okay. You know what we're going to do quickly? Have a look at this map. Just get our bearings for where we are here. We're in the clerk's office. We went to the break room. Uh, did we get into the break room? I'm not sure. I think we went down to the changing room, huh? Oh, we were, yes, we were in the pantry as well. We were in the foreman's quarters. We should go to the workshop. I wonder if we can get in there. And then there's the storage hub, fuel storage chapel, yeah, all that other stuff. I'm going to look into the workshop, see if we can get in there. Yeah, this is what happened. He was in here. I thought maybe it was this gas canister. No, it was something else. He blew, he blew himself up in here. <laughs> and he's coming back for me again. And this table's no longer going to protect me. I'm so tired of hiding from this guy. I'm going to just have my gun out. If he, if he has something to say, he can come say it to my face. We can talk about this like adults. That's the pantry. Oh, why is there a rat here? Do leave me alone, rat. Pantry, we've seen the pantry. Was there anything I missed in here? Not sure how much I care. Fine, you know what? I will make it difficult for him, okay? If he wants to come mess with me, he's gonna have to get through that. I don't think I left anything of value here, huh? Not really. Oh, yes, I did. A bandage. Okay. And a grenade. A gas grenade, even. Should I gas grenade him? <laughs> it will spew toxic gas. Will it keep him away from me? Or should I just stick to a petrol bomb, maybe? I think I might hit him with a gas grenade. That should give me some cover. <clears throat> I would love to wait for him to just go away, but he just never does go away. That's how it feels anyhow. Oh, brilliant. Did I just move my protection away from me? Okay. How come he never hits that tripwire with the grenade, huh? That's a question. I'm kind of tired of hiding. I, I, I know it's not smart, but I just want to move on. Where are you? Workshop. I want to go to the workshop. Are you coming? Are you coming? Some rats. Oh, this is where I was um, earlier. Let's put that away. And whip out these. Oh, 
Yeah, he's coming. Oh boy, what should I use on him? I'll use this grenade. <clears throat> Does it hit him? Nope, it hits me. Ain't that swell? Oh man, I'm getting lost. I'm lost actually. <laughs> This way? No, oh, this is the foreman's quarters. This is no good to me. Let's close this door. Lock it. How, how did he get in there? <laughs> God. He's so annoying. You know what? I think I'm going to give maintenance a little break and go explore somewhere else. Never run. Your feet will betray you. Instead, move like a cat. Careful, slow, fearful, but predatory. Okay, I get it. Stop walking like a normal person and just be careful. I need to get bolt cutters. Yeah, my junk is all still here. <laughs> Isn't that neat? What am I carrying on me? One Molotov. Let's make that two. Shall we go check out officers' quarters, maintenance, soldiers' quarters? Maybe go check out soldiers' quarters? Hello. Close. Thank you. Yeah, let's go see something different for a while, huh? Officers' quarters, maintenance, arsenal. Where's soldiers' quarters? That way. Let's go have a peek at there for a bit. <clears throat> Prison, Soldiers Quarters Communications. Here we go. It's very hard to survive in this bunker. <laughs> it would be neat if there was another save point. Okay, so my homeboy here gets very aggressive. There's a grenade, and there's a fuel tank. This is where I got, I blew up that door, and it cost me dearly, <laughs> if I remember correctly. Ooh, what's this say? I'll check it out now. Does this door open? No, this door needs to be blown open as well. Is this door open? No, something's blocking it. Looks like this will be useful here. The temptation is very high to toss a grenade right here and pop both these doors in one. Or better yet, Oh, I can use this as well, actually. I'll leave this here so I can pop this door open too. Uh-oh. Why is it getting so dark? I'm gonna leave and come back. <laughs> It got really eerie, <laughs> which I'm okay with, but just to be safe, I'm going to come back here quickly and save. I've got a plan of action. 
I'm going to try and break two doors and get back to base without dying. It's ambitious, to say the very least. What have I got on me to help me in this? <laughs> Another fuel tank I'm going to drop. Yeah. I guess I'm going to drop a Molotov. I think I'm going to drop both, actually. Why? Because I want to blow stuff up. Okay, I'll save. Wish me luck. This is a very, very risky thing I'm about to attempt. Okay, we know the beast is always listening, so we're gonna we're gonna be patient, okay? Patiently make our way back down here. <clears throat> and we're going to decimate those wooden doors. Hopefully for uh, meaningful rewards. <laughs> Like a wrench would be epic. There's a flare in the cloth. I guess I'll take those for now. Okay. Barrel in position. Gas canister in position. Okay, I guess a gas canister isn't going to blow doors up, is it? Let's see what else I can see before I do any uh, pyrotechnics. I can pull this switch down. I'm looking forward to when I turn the generator on, just walk around and all these lights are on. That'll be great. Mess hall. Security. Oh, there's another explosive container. I think I'll take this up here. I hope this isn't too noisy. Carefully push it down the hallway to where the gas canister is. And we'll replace the gas canister with this. Perfect. I think he's coming. I think he's coming. Is there a place to hide? This is a good place to hide. But those are rats. And I didn't bring any Molotovs. What's in here? Nothing. Okay, that's fine. Not everywhere has to have a something. Oh Lord, he's here. What what have I got to defend myself with? Why am I standing? <laughs> what have I got to defend myself with? A grenade and a gun. What does the flare do? Can be thrown. Oh, a flare, I see. None of this is ideal for my present situation. I suppose it could be good to disperse the rats with it. Can I get under this? Yes. I wonder if I can throw this at them.
eat it. Boom. Get lost. Did that spook him properly? Okay, I hope that buys me some time. <laughs> in there nope okay I better be quick about this I don't want to linger for the hey no okay okay let's not extend our stay <laughs> so far this hasn't been too bad I am wounded I need to get back to Ow! Oh, I can barely see anything okay I'm gonna make my way back home I think this has been relatively productive, but it's going to mean nothing if I die here. Fine, I'll take a stick. And a note. And a cloth. <laughs> okay, let's get back home. Do we remember how to do that? I think it's over here. Okay, keep it together, man. I know I'm wounded. I, oh, look, I can combine this with this and make a bandage right now. Kill me. Oh, lovely. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, that was risky as hell. I've still got that to shoot. And now it's time to go. We'll come back later. <laughs> that was a very, very experimental attempt here. I hope it wasn't for nothing. And the only way to be sure is to get back to base. Wow, that was wild. Overall, I'm kind of happy with how that turned out, <laughs> to be honest. Sure. Okay. Let's drop that and drop that. Part of my fuel tank collection. <laughs> I think we definitely need a bandage, at least one. Heal up. Awesome. Okay. And we'll save. And now we have some notes to review, huh? Quite a few, in fact. Did I get any new codes? No, the new codes. A new photo, it seems. Here's a, a fellow making some petrol bombs. Nice. Notes. Shooting the bees, yes. The rats. Have you noticed how the rats have changed down here lately? Ever since they opened those tunnels, I swear the rats have gotten uglier. Like they're disfigured or something. And they're definitely more aggressive. Tell me I'm not going crazy. Every time I take a step, I swear it can hear me. I've crawled into this hole here. I'll just wait. I'll just hold my breath and wait. Maybe it'll go away. If I'm just quiet enough. Oh God, let me be quiet enough. Gavin, I promised you a Christian burial, but you must understand the rats would not stop coming. They swarmed your body, their teeth, their claws. They would not stop. I did what our ancestors did when faced with unclean things. Burnt them, and I burnt what was left of you to stop them coming again. If you made it to heaven, please forgive me. I remain down here in hell with that demon. It will come for me again soon. I know it. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll remain down here uh, in hell with that demon. It will come for me again soon. I know it. I'm going to do as you suggested before you die. Make for the pillbox. Please, if you're up there, watch over me. 
daisy chain switches. Attention, the power in this part of the facility is daisy chained. Shut off the power in one section in the chain, the subsequent areas will go off as well. Switches should only be turned off under extraordinary circumstances, likely when I say so. Pranks and mischief will be reported directly to Reynold, Foreman Stafford, and Beaufoy. What do you have to say? <coughs> 16 May 1916, Neuer has been telling us of the tunnel texts, describing what these tunnels were used for, but I didn't need him to tell me. I've seen it. I was in there, in the dark. I dream of it every night now. Dreams are so real that when I wake, the day itself feels like the dream. I'm at a ritual. It begins with the drinking of a liquid sweet and thick like mucus or honey, repulsive and yet intoxicating. As I drink it warms my body, fills me with a lust for all things carnal. Sex, blood, flesh! Around me are others, their faces hidden, their bodies rippling. I know we all serve the same master to the same end. Good lord, this is getting Lovecraftian. A place in her unending kingdom. Immortality. The things I do in these dreams, a terrible whirl of horrors, bloody and twirled, that make the charnel pit of the war seem like mere play. I wake horrified, but in the dreams I am elated. The worst part, at the end of every day, I want to be asleep. I want to go back to that place. I want to feel that way. I want the violence and the ecstasy and the pitch black darkness. So Saint Boyfoy is gone. Let's see here. Neuer's Journal, Part 1. 30th of April, 1916. Finally got some answers from the engineering team. Command believes there are old Roman tunnels adjacent to our position. They're opening them this evening. Command hopes to use them to launch a surprise attack. As if any attack at this point could be termed surprise. This is a war. We are always expecting an attack. Curious to see these tunnels, though. A little dash, a little dash of antiquity would liven the place up. It would certainly help keep my mind off the daily grind of the war. Nine May, nineteen sixteen. The officers presented me today with a rather unexpected and strange gift: edging ticks from the uh, the Roman tunnels. Seems they got word of my interests. I took them, of course. But the truth is, these ticks are far too fragile, too valuable to survive life in this horrid place. They require more delicate hands, more learned minds than mine. Still, curiosity reigns. This morning, Ackerman died of his wounds. I'd only known him at a time, considering him one of my better friends here. I hope heaven welcomes him. To distract myself, I have been going over the texts and have quite the shock. These texts are not Roman in origin. The language is Latin, or Latinate at least, but what they're writing about has no relation to what I know of Roman culture from any era. These texts seem to be of a religious or at least superstitious nature. A phrase is repeated, to cross into the darkness beyond and then something about sight. 13 May 1916, haven't slept, need to get this down, the texts are of a religious nature. Whoever these ancient people were, they believed that they had found a mean to, uh, means to mortality. And to achieve this goal, they needed access to what they thought was some other world, one dominated by darkness and ruled by, I don't know, these words I can't translate, ruled by something. They claimed that dark other world was full of spirits, monsters, and that the air there was endlessly alive with the cries and torment, cries of torment and the sickly rattle of souls near death. That is what they were using the tunnels for. For them it was a doorway into some pagan hell. The texts are full of wild stories of blood orgies, of sadistic spirits, of the awful things these men and women would do to each other in worship of darkness. They speak at length of some substance that is meant to grant the worthy some kind of immortality in darkness. Oh, well, that would be nice. I'm on patrol tonight. Need to sleep before then. But then I'm back at this. Neuer's journal. Very interesting. And uh, we have some stuff updated here, huh? What does this say? <coughs> so, up in maintenance in the pillbox, there's something of value there, huh? 
My guy is looking for me. Did you hear that? I'm really glad you can't just break in here. I think I'll drop this fuel down at the generator. No need to fill it yet, but I will drop them right here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to trip myself. Let's see. I'm going to treat myself to some generator time. I haven't really made any use of it this whole time, and I want to maybe enjoy it a bit. See what it's like to have a generator on. Is it safer? I'll certainly see more, that's for sure. Let's check it out. <coughs> I should have lit up quite a bit of this place. What a difference, huh? Look at this place. Should we go to communications? Yeah, I think we should. Because I, I, I blew up a couple doors there. How nice it is to see everything lit up, huh? Oh, wait, did I get another code? I forgot. No, not yet. So I think maybe it's safe while the light's on, right? So I should be good for a little bit. Well, there was nothing in there. Was there anything of value in here besides this and that? A picture in the note. See these doors are busted open. Mm -hmm. Dog tag, nice. Clement with a code. I love you, Clement. And the notes. Oh, brother, is homeboy coming to get me again? Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get the high here. Uh oh. Here we go again. Leave me alone. I have no quarrel with you. I just want to get back out of here. Security, is that the passageway I came from? Yeah. Why aren't those switches on, I wonder? There should be light here too. Okay, I enjoyed a little bit of generator time, but I think it's time for me to start saving it again. What is that? What? <laughs> okay, so it turns out he's not that scared of the, the light. He doesn't like it, but he's still around. The enemy is always listening. <laughs> mm. 
I'm going to take out my stopwatch. I'm going to try and do that again, but maybe less noisily this time. I should be setting my, my stopwatch. Try to do that again a little more quietly. Oh, I should have probably brought a Molotov for those rats. That doesn't matter. Yo, what difficulty in long did you play? What difficulty and long did you play? Um, I don't recall. It's been a while. As for how long, I'd say... And how long? This being maybe about four hours? I spent <laughs> the first hour I was stuck, okay? I won't uh, pretend I wasn't stuck. I, I, I couldn't find a way to um, open the lock, uh, the chained lock on this uh, door that would lead to the safe room and it turned out I had to shoot it. <laughs> so embarrassingly that took up most of my time. So I don't recall the difficulty and I, I don't know if I went with hard or normal. I think I, I know I wrestled okay, with that for a minute. This game requires you to check and remember every inch. Yep, yep, I've realized <laughs> definitely come back and forth quite a lot. Uh, certainly a lot of backtracking is required. Is this my code? Yes, that's all I wanted, just to get that. I'm going to go back and make use of that. Oh, the rats are over there. Um, I just need to remember how to get back to the... Ma oh, no, it is the opposite direction. Let's get some light. Gonna make our way back to the main base without making too much noise, ideally. Is there anything else of value in here? No, not really. Okay. Yeah, gosh. Uh, it's really oppressive uh, <laughs> without the lights. So I'm not looking forward to turning the generator off again. But I, I should definitely preserve it. Okay, let's get back inside. Yeah, yeah, I know you hear me. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> Thanks, Denrick666. How long... How long did this game take you? Just to have some idea, I... I um, Assuming that you were able to finish this already. I feel like it might I think be shorter it took six than hours I'm on first playthrough on normal. Really? Is that right? <laughs> well for me it probably will be double. <laughs> but that's really cool. Okay. You see I'm, 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 a, I'm a big coward in here. <laughs> this game scares the living crap out of me. Let me see my codes. 7787H Clement. I'm going to go check that out. But first, save. Oh, excuse me. After one zero playthroughs if you play on a punishing difficulty. Oh really? I can only imagine, gosh. I saw that there was a Halloween update for uh, difficulty levels in this game and that's, yeah, that's a very terrifying uh, prospect. Soldier Quarters, Mission Storage, Mission, Mission Storage, right? Yeah. I want to go into Mission Storage with my new code. 
Yay, if you beat the game, you will unlock a special Shell Shock difficulty. Oh my. <laughs> that sounds intense. I forget the code. Code for Clement 7787. Clement Lambert. Well, it sounds like a much shorter game than um, Rebirth. Rebirth was very long. <laughs> 7787, I think it was. Yep. Gimme. What have we got? Got any further? What is that? It's nothing. Nothing of value. And this is a note. I know you didn't send me here just for some paperwork. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Gimme a gun. Fill her up. Yep. And another one. And thank you very kindly. I really want to find the passcode for this one. No, wait, there's a shotgun. Yeah, I need to find a shotgun. A pocket bag. That would be great. For sure. Where's your dog tag? What else is cool here? There's a medikit. There's more bullets. This is just open. What does Travers hide? Nothing. This is so Resident Evil 2, huh? The lockers with all the uh, extra gear. How much space have I got? I got enough. Maybe we should grab a couple bullets and face some rats. Shell shock difficulty. So you've played Bunker a lot, I take it. <laughs> How would you say uh, this stacks up to the other Amnesia games? Should I take a meat? I'm surprisingly running low on flaming uh, bottles. Yay, it's one of my fav games actually. I played it mostly on the survival mod on Shell Shock difficulty. Survival mod on Shell Shock? That is hardcore. <laughs> I take my hat off to you. Good lord. I'll see if I get there. <laughs> I'm, I'm mostly here for uh, the narrative as I am invested in uh, the, the amnesia storyline and. I'm just getting to the part where it's linking up to the other Amnesia games, so I find that interesting. This is by Man, far I the really... best Amnesia game, but I only played really? the Dark Scent and Machine Fur Picks. I heard Soma is also good, but I didn't play it. Oh, Soma's incredible. And frankly, um, I really enjoyed Rebirth. I know most people don't, but uh, I did. I thought it was really, really effective. An excellent story. I think so far the best storylines from Frictional were um, Rebirth and uh, Soma. You should definitely play Soma if you like Amnesia. <laughs> it's really good. Um, I would love to have played it on stream, but I, I tried to stick to blind uh, experiences. Something I haven't seen before. Like this. This is all new to me. And who knows what horror is waiting for me. <laughs> You've got some idea, so <laughs> I guess we'll see how I react to that when it happens. Um, I'm kind of torn on places to go. That's right, I do have to go to the communications section to get a code that's being broadcast. There's something happening up there in maintenance. I haven't been to the arsenal at all yet. Well, a little bit. I think I need bolt cutters. There's a lot of chained up things I can't open. Maintenance is the best area to start and finish. Contains the best goodies. 
you know what? I think I'm going to follow that because I have found a lot of good stuff in maintenance. My biggest issue with maintenance is the rats. So, best way to deal with it, I'm going to put that away. Uh, drop that in the storage box. I'm going to take me a couple of these bad boys. Got me some meat, got me some gun, got me some petrol bomb. I think we're good. Yeah? Yeah. I've done quite a lot of maintenance. I'm not sure how much is left of it, but I'm going to see more. Maybe there's another code. I can get that uh, inventory enhancement. That would be great. Let's wind you up. Yeah. Here goes nothing. Should probably be a bit more stealthy, huh? Yeah. Maintenance is very dangerous, <laughs> from what I recall. That homie's always in my face trying to scare me. But now, I've got bullets. How many bullets? Oh, I did that. It's a screen transition. I got four whole bullets. That should uh, buy me some time if he gets too close. Explore that to death. Explored here. I haven't really found a way here, but I have to still make my way through. Well, almost forgot about this. <laughs> okay. There we go. Still need to find a way into this pantry. I think I can probably blow up the, the side of it with a grenade. But before I do any more, I haven't actually been down here. Now that I think about it. What's up with this music? Is my friend coming to visit? Oh no, I was down here. Because I left a flare. <laughs> it's not the best plan, but it's something, okay? <laughs> Does this open? Nope. I guess I'm just gonna wait for him here, huh? Show yourself, man. Come and get me. How do I open you? What's blocking you? This looks useful. Man, that's frustrating. Okay. I should go back to the workshop here, huh? Or should I wait for him? Is he coming down here? I think he's coming. Hey! Come on down, sir. It's nice to meet you. Come and get me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, probably shouldn't stand right there, huh? Hey! <laughs> My plan was not successful, clearly. <laughs> oh, brother. Hey, I think I'm going to have to take a short intermission to deal with some quick admin and then come back. But maybe I can push a little bit longer before I do that. I am going to be coming back to Amnesia today, tonight, whatever it is for you, <laughs> if you're watching. This is uh, 
This is a push through campaign. Okay, let me regroup. What did I have on me? I had two Molotovs. I had my gun. Was there anything I regretted not taking with me last time? No, I think it was pretty good. My problem is I went downstairs for no good reason. I'm going to go back to maintenance. And this time, focus on the workshop. And ideally, not play chicken with, uh, with the beast. As that did not seem to have any uh, advantages for me. Perhaps if I shot him a bit sooner, maybe that would have worked. But I was uh, determined to use my traps. Which then I realized was stupid because I was standing right in front of him. So they would have obliterated me as well. Gosh. Sometimes I just get mad with uh, waiting. <laughs> just when they get there. I'm too excited for more dog tags and cones. Okay, let's stay on task. Not go downstairs, but go to the workshop. Yikes, that was too close. Nice. Mm hmm. Did I overshoot? Is this the workshop here? Yep. <clears throat> now, a fundamental issue with the workshop is that there's nowhere for me to hide here, and he does show up without fail every time. It's pretty much uh, a definite. He's going to pop his head out here. Do I want to pick that up right now? Maybe not right now. What's my plan of action? If he shows up, should I just shoot him? I mean, I can't think of anything else to do. Hiding under this table does not seem like it's going to be that useful. There's something glistening back here. Okay. Okay. Hiding works. Running works if you ain't trapped. Hiding works, running works if you ain't trapped. Oh crap, he's coming. I'm gonna try the hiding. <laughs> Hopefully this works. <laughs> just I find that hiding can take so long. Sometimes he'll just hang around forever and ever and ever. But here's an idea. I'm I'm enjoying being more proactive with the situation I'm in. First thing I want to do is I want to deal with these critters here. Now he's going to come running down here because he hears that noise. And hopefully I'm obscured enough. Or oh, maybe back here. No, 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 get back down there. <laughs> Here he comes. Maybe I should shoot him. What do you think, Shasha? Shoot? Oh, hiding is working. Is he going away? 
<sighs> okay. Did that go pretty well, actually? Awesome. Yeah, no, there's no code on that one. Um... Oh, maybe I can throw the meat in there. Maybe they'll run into the fire? <laughs> What's here? A cloth. Oh, I can make myself another one. Yeah, my homie's coming back again, huh? What was that noise? Did he just blow himself up again? I think he did. Sometimes he does that, huh? If so, that would mean that he's uh, incapacitated for a while, so... Can I make myself another one of these? Heck yeah, I got another Molotov. Just like that. This is going great. Which is just as well, because I still have rats to deal with. Is my monster friend gone for a while? That would be great if he is. Actually give me some chance to explore in peace for a change. I think this would be a good time to maybe run back and save actually. While the coast is clear. Or should I just be a man and push on? <laughs> I think I'm going to face my fears. Get my gun out if he comes to cause me trouble. I'll just spook him off. Connor, no code. And you? A clear. A code! That's what we wanted. I'm getting the heck out of here now. The risk can wait for later. Because that is productivity. And I would hate to die after all that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to make my way home. Watch out for this tripwire. Oh, I think he did actually uh, trigger the... No, no, I'm not there yet. There it is. Okay. Okay. Let's go home. Excellent. Another successful run. Seal the door. <laughs> I thought I had more stuff on me, but no. It's fine. I can actually start picking up some of this junk here. Uh, get it. Put in the box. What can I combine these with? Anything yet? Oh, what? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I didn't know I could do that. Okay. Now I've got a torch. That's awesome. Did you know you can sprinkle fuel on Teflor and ignite it? 
Oh, that's... I feel like I read that somewhere and I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. That's really handy to know. Cheers. That's what I'm trying to remember. I have a code, right? Let me see. Maybe you can burn those bodies that rats are swarming. True. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, basically, it's actually a good idea to carry a fuel tank on me, really, huh? Hmm. I just hate having this little inventory. <laughs> I can't wait to expand it. Hopefully, that's what this code is going to be. So, that's my focus right now. I'm going to go back, open another locker. And hopefully, that will mean... Um, another inventory bag. That would be great. Homie's chasing. Let's do this quickly. Eau Claire 3817. Eau Claire. Eau Claire, please be worth it. Whatever this is. Okay. Three, eight, one. What's this? <gasps> it is! Is it? No, it's a medical kit. Oh. <laughs> That's fine, I suppose. There's my pocket bag. Well, sure has it. Man, I was so pumped for a second. I thought, finally, my inventory situation is improving. Oh, yeah, well, at least there's one more locker opened. I can't be mad at that. I think I should definitely put that medical kit in the, in the lockbox. Still got three grenades. We got lots of meat. Maybe I should take a fuel tank with me and do what you suggest. If I see bodies just laying around, maybe just torch them. How's my fuel looking in here? It's full. Oh gosh. This recording's getting a bit big. I think, what am I gonna do? I still haven't really achieved the full potential of maintenance. I haven't gone to the arsenal really yet. Um, and as for soldier quarters, I haven't made it my way to the communications room yet either. But you're right, I should probably just pick an area and, and, and wrap it up, huh? Tell you what. I'm going to go check out maintenance one more time. Let me just say for good luck. <laughs> just make sure there's nothing else I want to take with me. I think I'm good. The objective is to burn away all the enemies in maintenance. And of course, the bodies that are causing the creatures to come feast there. Is Homie stalking me here, huh? Okay, here we go. Let's get some closure. Oh, 
Oh, I can totally pop this open, right? Is it worth it? I'll, I'll, I'll consider it towards the end. Maybe I make some space for it. We're going to get to the workshop. We're going to finish our business there. I feel like I, I torched that body already, yeah? Yeah, that body's dealt with. Oh, for goodness sake. Is my homie stalking already? Of course you're locked. <laughs> Do you open? Small mercies, huh? This isn't exactly a good hiding spot, is it? <laughs> Munition storage? That sounds really cool. <laughs> oh, there's the rats. Okay, what armaments do I have? I suppose I could use this torch. Or should I try and use the fuel to spook the rats? Where are the rats at the moment? There. Um, you know what? Amazing. <laughs> I forgot to light that. I hate this. <laughs> well, that was a total waste of everything. <laughs> I'm ready to die now, sir. Might as well, uh, complete the experiment while I'm here. Here's the chapel. Yeah, it's pretty much what I was expecting. <laughs> Time to go to confession. What's up, Padre? I can't believe I wasted all my bullets. But I do have the pillbox key. That's pretty based. Oh, wait. There's hope. I still have a bullet. All is not lost. I have a single bullet that might save my life. Because it's nice to have the pillbox uh, key. That's for sure. Where is this homie? Is he still around here? Is it safe to come outside? No, it doesn't sound like it's safe at all.
Might as well read my notes while I'm here. Anything new? Where's the pillbox key? If you require pillbox access, see me or Father DeRay. Oh, that's right. Here I am by Father and I found the key. Cool. Well, Sergeant Stefania, I have to say. Patrol. Patrol report. 10 July 1916. Odd occurrences last night. Uh, so, uh, Soldat uh, Lambert thought dead after his patrol on the 8th returned to his barracks in fine health. He carried with him uh, Soldat Clement, severely wounded from an explosion. Lambert reports the following. That midway through his patrol on the 8th, he fell into a deep crater and was unable to escape. Oh yeah, that was in the intro. Clement is close friend. I think that's us, isn't it? Yeah, I forget. We never hear anything about ourselves, so it's been a while. That's right, we're Henry Clement. I remember. Okay. Uh, we snuck out after him last night, located him in the crater and carried him out. Yeah, that's the part we remember. They were spotted in the ensuing attack. Clement was injured by an explosion. It fell on Lambert to carry him back. Very odd that Lambert was neither injured from the, spool, from the fall nor the explosion and that he ended up saving the man who came to save him. But battlefield luck is an odd thing. In every life, fate w winds blow erratic. Judging by Lambert's uh, description, the crater he fell into seems to have been located very close to the Roman tunnels we unearthed. It may have been a result of work down there. Recommend a future patrol, investigate, and make sure we have not opened up a back door into our own bunker. Cool. Um, it's, it, it seems I have some new thoughts, huh? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have those thoughts in my safe house. That's the plan. We've come too far in this particular run to abandon it. So I'm going to get us back home. That's a fairly good checkpoint, right? Even though I did waste some bullets <laughs> and a whole petrol bomb that I wasn't able to light. Am I injured? Is there a rat nibbling on me in here? What's going on? Why am I hurt? Do I have a bandage? I've only got one. Oh, that's right. I've been injured for a while, huh? I need to really get back home. I'm going to try my luck. He never goes away, huh? Just stalks me in perpetuity. Here goes nothing. Hoping we make it out here. There's a rat. I don't know where we're going exactly. Don't bother me, please. There's the pull box. Fine. Why won't you use the key, sir? <laughs> this is the locked door with the... Uh, this is intense. Please leave me alone. Munition storage, that's locked. Okay, fine, fine, fine. You wanna dance? Let's dance. Okay, cool. Put that away. I hope we have not provoked him too much, as I really just want to leave now. That's not going to be an idea. Why is that on fire?
Oh, I guess he triggered that explosion, huh? We're so, so very close to being out of here. <laughs> Come on, just a little bit longer. Leaving a trail of blood behind me. I know, I know, my man, I know. We're almost there. Whew. The tension, hey? Okay. How far to go? We know that we know where we are, we know how far it is, but it's a lot of progress to lose if we die here. Shall I make a break for it? Yeah, what the hell? And that's a wrap. Shut the door. Lock the door. Save the game. Epic. Okay. It didn't quite go as I planned, but it could have been worse. Let's put that away. We're going to keep this stuff on us. I think this torch is just about done. So I'll put it away for now. And... I think, yeah, we got the key for the pillbox, which is pretty awesome. And probably a bunch of notes and photos. They seem happy. Wait, is that the same guy in the glasses? Who is he? Okay, I'll, I'll pick up with my notes on the next chapter. You can hear from Henry as we open up for the next session. But I'm pretty pleased with what we've achieved so far. So thanks for that. Thanks for hanging. Um, this will happen again, probably within, you know, an hour or two. Maybe less. But yeah. Thank you for uh, following I really appreciate your company. 666. Thank you Thanks, for Denric. the follow. That's awesome. Denric 666. Cool. I'll Heck see yeah. You then. I appreciate that. Cool. Yeah, you will. <laughs> I look forward to it. You know what's coming. And yeah, I don't. <laughs> so we'll see how I handle it when that happens. Okay. One more say for good luck. And see you next time.